the real thing that's going to be <laughs> changing all of this uh, is uh, quantum computing, which is basically getting uh, atoms to um, represent ones and zeros. Um, now, I'm not sure exactly how they go into it. I'm going to put a nether link in uh, to, uh, to a video I put up. It's a segment of a video series that I, uh, I put up on YouTube way back when. And uh, talking about quantum computing and how they they, they can get atoms to do uh, to exploit the ability of atoms to do this and that at the same time. You can get them to crunch, you know, thousands upon thousands of numbers at any time or whatever. Like I say, watch the video. It goes into it. I haven't watched it in a long time, so I kind of forget exactly what it is. But they basically get uh, atoms to crunch ones and zeros. Either way. So, you're talking about if you make a computer that's like the size of a grain of sand, like that, just, you know, the computational power of the human race just like, like folds, you know, it's just, it, and this is within a, a, you know, something the size of a grain of sand, maybe. So, this is where that technology could, could take us. And, uh, and that will advance us and everything too, of course, you know, uh, all all the shit that we do in our society, you know, from medical to uh, business, uh, environmental, you know, all, all this shit's based upon, you know, simulations, you know, astrological, or, uh, yeah, astrological, I guess. Um, you know, it, it's, it's all about freaking computation power, you know, when they're talking about, like, building our own universes, you know, it's just... It's like you've seen the simulations, obviously, with freaking galaxies colliding and all this stuff. And you know, one 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 little point represents like this, you know thousands upon thousands of star systems and all this stuff. You know, so the calculation is just so horribly basic. You know, but you get an idea uh, the level of detail that we'll be able to do in all those fields with the computational power will be amazing. But when applied to the AI field, uh, you get into a lot of things that uh, that uh, Hugo de Garris, the, the Transhumanism Society as well, uh, they all talk about. I'll put a, uh, another link in. Um, it's called, uh, it's a Google video called uh, uh, Creating Gods, I think? Building Gods, that's what it is. And uh, that'll get you into the whole situation of where they're going there and how we, you know, what, the, what they're presently doing to... Uh, to build um, artificial brains, and then uh, search, and you can find some other videos, uh, different debates and shit like that with Hugo de Garris um, talking about this. If I can find that video, I'll, I'll put a link in, and I'll try and find it and put it in sometime. Um, and they have these debates where they're talking about, well, yes, if you build, you know, the the AI from the ground up, you know, to be nice and, and not want to kill us all, and all this different stuff like that. Um, you, they, they, they won't turn on us and we can control them and all this stuff and then you have Hugo going you, 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 we're talking about if you actually make something that can think and can be conscious and then it's just on such another level than us like you're talking about like uh, getting into thousands maybe even millions of times smarter than, than our species, you know, the whole race let, let alone, you know, one person you know, he, he talks uh, talks about in the one video, you know, com comparing us to, like, cows, you know, we, if we try to talk to them, we'd just be like, moo, moo, and he'd be like, I I'm not going to do what you want, you, you know, pathetic little thing, you know, if, if, <sighs> get into Hugh DeGaris's view, that's, uh, it's, it's pretty cool, and, uh, and, you know, he, he has, a, he has a lot of uh, credentials in that field, but, uh, Basically, so you have his war between the Artilects and with the with the Terrans and the Cosmos, the Terrans that don't want the Artilects, which are AI, you know, and uh, uh, the, t the the Cosmos who think it's another step in our evolution, and you know, we how can we not you know build gods, right, and all this different stuff like that. So that is going to be that's more than the end of oil or freaking global war, big, you know, any new power sources or. You know, only like uh, creating uh, a technology that 
enables us to go, you know, faster than light travel or something, or a wormhole, you know, uh, to explore all these different worlds, maybe, you know, communicate with aliens, that would basically be the only thing that would rival uh, the rise of the machines in our society. Um, that's that's basically it. So the, that's 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 the main um, problem, I guess you could say, or, or you know, event in the 21st century. You know, it, it'll be the the century of sentience. But now beyond that, um, like I say that that's another thing that make videos and videos about. So. Uh, just educate yourself on that and then come up with your own conclusions. But um, beyond that, we'll talk about um, in the next couple centuries, whatever the fuck is going to happen with this shit. You have us try to get off this planet because, like, holy shit, asteroids and shit, that's not good. Um, and while we, we might be able to. Uh, you know, reflect or, you know, change the, the course of, or uh, probably not explode, but, you know, get rid of a, uh, a, an asteroid. Um, I watch many, many programs on that and, and different techniques we have. We still haven't done it yet. You, you can't usually do something the first time that complicated and get it right. So even if we did have the technology and we could do it, who knows if it would even work. So we have to really get into that. Um, and besides, there's a lot, there's a lot of situations where all the methods that we come up with are simply, you know, they're they're, they're not probable to to uh, affect certain asteroids on certain courses with certain orbits and rotations. You know, you, you're talking about like focusing light on it. It's like yeah, that's good if it only has like one or two orbits and there's an actual spot that you can focus in the direction. But if it, if it's constantly moving. And, you know, the focal point, it, it, there's no stable focal point in the direction that you need to push it. You know, it's like, it doesn't matter what kind of crazy technology and, and heat-focusing shit we can have. It, it, it's just not applicable to the situation. So, all this different avoiding asteroids kind of stuff in science, it just, I don't know about that. So, basically, we have to get on board with, uh, with you know, Stephen Hawking is, is bitching about and uh, get the hell off this planet. It's basically it, even on, uh, either onto the moon or let's get over to Mars, start terraforming that. But then you have the, the prospects of terraforming a whole planet. You know, it's it, you know, it's like we, we could put up a whole bunch of different uh, uh, greenhouse producing factories and just you know not like factories but just producing factories, you know, and uh, heat it up. But you're still talking about like centuries. Like you're still talking about we're going to need massive artificial structures and concealment from the the environments wherever we go be it the moon or mars or you know get the hell out to titan or you know it's like wherever we put up colonies in in, in this solar system it, it's still going to be a long process um, before we have you know another earth or whatever so it, the the resources that it's going to take to sustain any kind of colonization is is really going to suck, and we're really going to have to um, have some good technologies so that we can create basically whatever we want, um, you know, atomically, and uh, and go from there. And then it's just a simple uh, matter of like uh, resources of uh, raw materials in order to create things. Um, so we still have to say sustain ourselves on Earth a fairly decent amount for the next couple centuries, um, no matter what we do, unless we start getting into some crazy um, traveling to other star systems and shit like that. And you know, there's like a you know talked about in comments, you know, iron propulsion and shit like that. It's like yeah, you know. It, <clears throat> That's that's getting into giant time frames still, you know, you're still talking like decades upon decades um, for any close contact or, or centuries, if not millennia, for uh, for any, you know, reputable star or civilization that, or planet we may want to contact or, or go to. Um, 